Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, it's Rhonda, and in this video, I want to show you one of Canva's new features that makes creating uh, bundles of clip art really fast and really simple. Okay, it is just one of the coolest new features that they've put in the new Canva. So right here, I have this little uh, chibi goth girl clip art on a scooter. I made that in Prome AI, and I just brought that right over here to Canva. And I'm just going to show you this new feature. This is going to be a pretty quick video, but I really wanted to share this with you because it's such a great new feature. So I'm going to select my image. Now, I don't know if you remember how Canva used to be, but when you selected an image, you didn't have color options up here, but now we do. And all I have to do now, like I have this cool purple scooter. All right, let's duplicate this. We're going to grab this. We're going to go purple. We're going to come over here and I'm going to click on red. Now we have a red scooter with the like burgundy roses. Well, I'm going to click on the burgundy and I'm going to click yellow. I don't like what that did though. Do you see it gave her a yellow tint? So I'm just going to leave that one the way it is. Or we can do red with them. It gives her a little pinkish tint, but that's really not bad. That still looks pretty good. Okay. So let's duplicate this again. Let's go back here. Whoops. Let's click on that. Let's take that back to the burgundy. And now on the red scooter, let's click on blue. So now we have our chibi girl on a blue scooter and we can do this again. And let's change that blue to bright green. And you notice it changes the sleeves here and her eye color. So it all matches. So this is a really cool feature that you can create complete bundles of the same image in different colors for a clip art set. All right. That I, I just absolutely love this. So let's do this again with another image. Let's uh, just do this here. Let me find another one over here. All right, here we have this woman in a bikini on the beach. Okay, so let me stretch that out to fit my canvas. And her bathing suit and stuff is the blue. So let's click on that. And let's go purple. Now she has a purple bathing suit and the purple blanket. And we can do this again. Let's go with uh, green. Now she has green. And we can change some other stuff in this one. We can give her a little bit darker complexion. Um, let's see what this one will do. Okay, that one just dulls everything a little bit. So we won't mess with that. And sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. So we're going to leave that the way it is. But we can, you know, give her a lighter complexion. We can go here. We can go there. But you can change these colors in different ways now, which is really, really neat. It opens the door to do so many different things. So let's give her red. And now, like I said, you can be creating some complete bundles of clip art with your characters all in different colors. And you don't have to use one of the predefined colors. You can come over here and use the uh, color picker and just scroll around till you find the color you want. And just keep going until you have as many different colors in your bundle as you wanted. You know, we can do brown, just like that. 
So it's just that easy. And now you have an entire bundle of clip art, the same character, you know, the same pose, just in a bunch of different colors, which is, you know, really handy. Some people would actually, you know, love that. Let's do this alien here. Let's see. Okay. So we have the alien and we have different colors for him. So this would be the color of his scooter. And let's pick a red or a pinkish. There we go. And then I think it looks like here we can probably change his skin tone. There you go. Now you have like a bright green alien on the pinkish red scooter. We could give it a purple scooter or a bluish purple or a dark blue or, the, you know, the teal. How about yellow? So there's just a ton of things you can do now with this change color feature that I absolutely love. And I just wanted to show it to you guys so you see how versatile your designs can be now here in Canva. Look, we can make him a yellow alien on a pink scooter, you know, so really it's limitless, you know, what you can do here, how you can change these up to make them different, to create uh, great bundles. Like I said, we could just change the color of the scooter or we could change, you know, instead of a green alien, a yellow alien or an orange alien, whatever you want to do, you can just do a ton of different things now just by changing the colors in the clip art you've designed. So that's all I wanted to show you today. If you don't see that feature yet, uh, you will be soon. I think it's pretty much rolled out for a ton of people already. So uh, keep your eye out. You know, when you upload a clip art design that you've made, um, just, you know, put your picture in there and see what happens. See if you get that color palette at the top. Here's this cat, and I want to change this, you know, the background, the color of the watercolor splashes behind him. So we'll make him bright green. There we go. Or blue, orange, gray. And then it looks like this one, and you have to play around. You don't know exactly what you might get. This one just seems to change the tone of the cat, whether he's darker, he's lighter, doesn't really, like even if I click purple or pink, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but you can make him lighter or you can make him, you know, can make him lighter here or you can make him darker. So that's a way to, you know, do something like this with this cat. Um, again, change the splash colors behind them and the color of the coffee cup to whatever you want. And you can do it over and over to make as many of these as you want to. Let's do one more. Let me bring in my skeleton on the scooter. And for this guy, we've got, let's see here, changes the color of the scooter and his pants. And then the green up here, that changes the color of his shirt and his bandana. And it looks like it gives a little bit of color highlight to the pumpkin. So, you know, that's up to you. You might look at this and say, yeah, no, I don't like that. You know, so don't use it. But you can just do a lot of different things. Alrighty, so that's all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>